This is Ray the Bear Man, and I'm just doing a quick demo with the computer that's running a small trans transmitter at uh, 107.5 Wassenberg. I'm at 6,100 feet. Uh, there's a swamp cooler. I'm gonna just walk along here. Uh, there is a bathroom on the right. Uh, okay, let me get back to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I am very picky about sound, so I have an oscilloscope to measure the sound quality of any said amplifier or sound system that I build. Uh, I built three of these uh, time coherent systems, which was enough to put a down payment on the house that I'm sitting in right now. Um, a new discovery that I made is that I had this system running at 7,200 feet, Payton, Colorado on a small trailer. Now I'm at 6,100 feet in Walsenburg, Colorado, and I'm in a bigger room. So uh, the altitude does make a difference. And I'm like, holy buckets. Uh, sorry. Okay. That was that was good. I like that. Holy buckets. Okay, so these are made out of buckets because they're round. The thing that I that I learned uh, when I was a kid is that a sound wave is on a round vector, but a lot of speakers are in square cabinets. Okay, that is my selling point. I'm serious. This is what sells. I use high-end clip audio drivers, and then I for the subs and mid sub mid, mid ranges, I use pile drivers, and then a two preamp uh, connected to a Class D. Uh, very efficient amplifier and it gives it uh, a warm sound and then I have two power supplies 12 plus 12 I also have a fan of voltage one side eh, just kidding I shouldn't do that <laughs> okay sorry kind of uh, one side has plus on the on the case the other side has negative on the case so I have the crossovers and then there I have it it's my time coherent system first install in a house uh, bigger bigger room so it does make a difference so uh, basically uh, Roy Johnson had created Green Mountain Audio uh, Dotty Cancer about a year ago I have his prototype system which I will uh, be uh, bringing down here eventually so the, my uh, speaker company is called Green Mountain Sound which is an offshoot of Green Mountain Audio and I do the same thing but I have one tenth of power and one tenth of cost so I make things affordable for people that want to have high-end audio right now I've got a local band running through um, the uh, server um, and then 107.5 so I do use my station uh, as a catalyst for demos because the quality is good and I wrote some of the sound software including the 71 microsecond output um, and then I have it uh, emulated uh, through it's called my Rafus DBX because I uh, wrote some of the audio software to make it sound good uh, into the output of the transmitter and then into the receiver. It's Brother Brian here at KFUI and Green Mountain uh, Sound. I almost forgot the name of my company. It's embarrassing. But hey, business is good. Have a good day.